Thank you much, Mr. Chalet. Appreciate that a great deal. It is a great pleasure that I have the opportunity to introduce the Honorable Vance Winkworth Amory, Premier of Nevis, as we jointly celebrate the role that our Nevisian son of the soil, Alexander Hamilton, has played in the founding and establishment of Jersey City. Over the past 50 years, Premier Amory has remained a trusted friend from our high school days in Nevis, engaged in a healthy game of cricket on the playground of Charlestown Secondary School, through his illustrious rise to lead the island of Nevis as its premier and the twin island state of St. Kitts and Nevis as its senior minister in the newly established federal unity government. It is a prestigious and well-earned title that no other member of the federal cabinet of St. Kitts and Nevis holds. The Honorable Premier came from very humble beginnings. Like Hamilton before him, he too moved around in search of better alternative opportunities. He ventured far away from home and earned a bachelor's degree from the University of the West Indies in Kingston, Jamaica. He later moved on to St. Croix, as Hamilton did, and earned a master's degree in business from the University of the Virgin Islands. These two academic achievements have provided support for what has been a long and very distinguished political career. The Concerned Citizens Movement Party that he founded and now serves as the Premier has rendered outstanding service in 17 of the last 24 years. It has transformed the face of Nevis for the better from a largely agrarian economy into a more diversified economy that is dominated by tourism and financial services. These dominant sectors have raised the quality of life for Nevisians, while with the financial sector serving as an automatic stabilizer when the far too often hurricanes wreak utter havoc with our tourism sector. The economy of Nevis has played an important role that jo jointly with its sister island of St. Kitts in leading the Western Hemispheric states of Latin America and the Caribbean in a number of important performance rankings. Perhaps, if I mentioned just his academic and professional accomplishments, that would be enough. But, significant as those accomplishments are, they are not the sum, sum total of what defines this good man. What defines and drives him is his deep and passionate love for the island of Nevis, the Queen of the Caribbees. This is a man for whom patriotism and love of the island, his island home extend well beyond politics and remains his guiding light. He immerses himself in everything that is Nevisian. His passion for and support for preserving the legacy and of our famous son of the soil is well known as is his zeal to see Hamilton's place of birth elevated to the status of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Hamilton's place of birth would then take its rightful place alongside Independence Hall in Philadelphia, where the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were signed. The, imp the importance of this is that the imprimatur of the UNESCO stamp on Hamilton's birthplace as a World Heritage Site will complete the umbilical link that unites his place of birth in Nevis with his monumental achievements as the greatest founder, founding father of the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, it affords me great pleasure in introducing my good friend, Vance Winkworth Amory. Good afternoon, everyone. And I want to, to thank my good friend, Ambassador Hull, for that very comprehensive introduction. I am humbled by his expressions, but also I feel urged to say that I am, in fact, very happy for his friendship 
but also for his own guidance and support over the years. And, and that guidance and support, they've been uh, sometimes very sacrificial for himself, but beneficial for me and for the island, which he too, I think he's even more passionate about Nevis than I am. And I, I, I say that very truthfully, not to, to him to be ingratiating, but to be truthful. Dr. Hull, Everson Hull is, I think, more passionate. There's no one, to my knowledge, who has never wavered in his belief in the things which the people of Nevis could, could accomplish and for what the, the, the people of Nevis and Nevis itself could become. And, and while he speaks of myself as a uh, patriot and one who is pursuing the idea of Nevis becoming uh, a heritage uh, site or Charleston becoming a heritage site to be partnering with the areas here in the U.S., he has given serious guidance and thought and made all of the necessary contacts for us to pursue this. So I want you to give Dr. Hull a very big round of applause. And his wife as well. And, and permit me to acknowledge the Councilman Baggiano, who introduced our chairperson for this uh, today's um, event, and to acknowledge the chairman, Mr. Shule, and all the members of the AHA Society, and to acknowledge our distinguished guest speaker, uh, Mr. Fleming. I call him Dr. Fleming. I don't know, I did not ask if he had um, received his PhD, but I think the work he's done, someone should give him an honorary degree for the astounding work. Uh, I think he is so knowledgeable, and at his age, I don't know how old he is, but that is unimportant, not important. He did a magnificent job of putting into perspective what we are doing here today, giving the historic um, connections and tracing the events which are so significant um, in our celebration of the great Alexander Hamilton of Nevision birth. He's beginning in Nevis, and here in this country, he had the beginning of his end. I was talking to Mayor Turner a little while ago, and he said, well, he's happy that he did not die on his, in his countries, on his soil. But that is where they had the, the jewel. And I think had it happened there, that country might have been blacklisted very seriously for committing or being the, 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 the domicile or the location where that dastardly act took place. That is for the historians to discuss. I will seek, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to speak to you from my own perspective. And I am particularly happy to see the students from the Renaissance School I had a chat with the teacher, uh, Miss, Miss, uh, Mrs. Hart, and three of the students, and she did speak of others, and I'm so touched by the performance of the, the young Hamilton, uh, Hamilton uh, in his performance, which he gave for us this morning. I think he needs to be given another round of applause, because here is a talent in the making. And, and while I listened, and this is not part of what I've prepared to speak to you about, you know, it, it struck me that it has been and, and was reinforced that the man Alexander Hamilton, whom we are honoring and seeking to have his legacy significantly appreciated by the people of Nevis and the people of the United States of America and the world, that he was a man of sound principles. There is a man who had a clear understanding of what his role was as a human being. And I think it is important that we instill this in our children, that they must seek amidst the turmoil, amidst the distractions 
of what goes on around them in their cities, in their homes, in their schools or wherever, that they must have a, a focus and a willingness to accomplish and to utilize their God-given talents as Hamilton did. And I think I cannot, in fact, uh, give any better admonition to our young people. And then speaking to the teacher, she said to me that the Renaissance, which means a new beginning or rebirth, and I asked one of the young men, the one in the blue, Mr. S His father plays cricket, so we have a little affinity. Um, and he said, I said, do you know what Renaissance means? And he said, yes, it means rebirth, a new birth. And I'm so happy when we as seniors, parents, teachers, leaders and community can give our young people that opportunity, that second chance, if you want to call it that, to accomplish and to use their talents. Sometimes they get lost. And I want to, com to compliment you, Teach, for your school's effort to help these young men. And also all teachers, everywhere, coming from a background of teaching myself, I understand and appreciate that. So thank all of you for helping the, the young people to appreciate what we are doing here and what history means. And another comment which I wrote, there's a strength in our, understand, our understanding our history and what it means to a people. If we forget or don't understand our history, and if we don't accord respect to those who have helped to shape our history, then we are doing ourselves a grave injustice. They've gone, they've done what they've had to do, but we are doing ourselves a grave injustice. And young people, I want you to think along those lines. And now, what I've been asked to do is to speak to you as your keynote speaker. And I'm, I'm really honored to be in this very magnificent city hall. And you look at this, and I spoke to, to Mayor Turner, and he advised me that this hall has been renovated. And outside of the renovation, you see the architecture, you see the designs, and it tells you of the great heritage which we, as uh, those of us who are here, the heritage which goes into this. And I want to compliment you, Councilman, and compliment your, your mayor and all the members of the council and your government for continuing the work to ensure that we preserve what we have, what we've inherited, for our young people and ourselves to enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, to the business for which I've been invited to perform. I am deeply honored by the opportunity which has been granted to me to address this very distinguished grouping this morning in my capacity as Premier of Nevis and Minister of Finance in the island of Nevis and secondly, as Senior Minister and Minister of Labor and Security in the federal government. Although I treasure each new opportunity, few provide greater personal satisfaction than celebrating the outstanding achievements of our own division, Son of the Soil, Alexander Hamilton, who came from very humble beginnings in Nevis to emerge as one of America's great founding fathers. It is in that spirit that I embrace the invitation offered to me by Mr. Ran Shuley and the indefatigable founder of the AHA Society and president to deliver the keynote address as together we honor and celebrate Hamilton's monumental contribution to the establishment of Jersey City. Please join me, ladies and gentlemen, in giving Ran Shule and his team, as well as Mr. Art Piccolo, and he is like the little energizer bunny, uh, trying to get things into perspective, and all those who have helped 
a big round of applause for their accomplishments and their initiative. Just need a minute here. The school, system, the school system was very gracious to allow students to be here today, and their bus is taking them at 2.15. They just wanted to thank you personally before you continue to talk to, to say thank you and, and as they head out to their bus, but they didn't want you to think they didn't appreciate your talk. <laughs> so, that's, so everyone wanted to say hi to uh, the Premier before you have to leave?